Hello and welcome to the Blue Open Studio tutorial video series. The topic of this video will be tag integration. In this video, we'll be discussing the Blue Open Studio tag integration concepts and we'll be demonstrating integrating a tag list into the Blue Open Studio application and assigning an integrated tag in the application. Using tag integration in Blue Open Studio, you can point to a pre-existing PLC tag file and have access to those tags. You are not actually importing the tag list into the application, but you are querying the tag file and selecting the specific tags you want to use. Additionally, when tags are selected or referenced in the application, a driver worksheet is created automatically. This is a quick and easy way to get started with device PLC communication, but it is not as configurable as setting up a driver. Before we begin the tag integration, we need to first locate our file we are going to use to integrate the PLC tags. Uh, in a previous video, we downloaded and extracted a training class files zip folder. I extracted mine to my C drive, and inside of there is a BOS underscore training.l5k file. This is the file we're going to use for tag integration. For ease of use, I am going to copy this file into my BOS training project folder. Now I have it there, I can begin. So inside of Blue Open Studio, we'll first go up to project and then to communication. And the project settings dialog will open. And on the main pane of the dialog, on the left hand column at the bottom, you will see tag integration. We'll click on add, and the tag integration source dialog appears. The first drop down is type, and the only option we have is integrated. The second drop down is the provider. This is where we select the PLC family and model for the tag integration. In our case, it's going to be the RS Logics 5000 family. And then we have a field to put in the name. I'm going to change mine from dev to my PLC. And you see, as we change the name, the tag prefix field changes as well. This will be the prefix that is attached to the front of every tag we integrate in to the Blue Open Studio application from this file. Once we have the settings, we click add. Now it comes up with the tag integration settings window. Under connection type, there are two options, driver and OPC. We can select driver, and in this case, what will happen, as I stated earlier, a driver worksheet will be created to communicate to this specific device. If we select OPC, we'll have to create an OPC connection in order to communicate. So we're gonna leave the connection type set to driver, and for PLC IP address, we're just gonna enter in a dummy address of 192.168.1.200. And we're going to leave the CPU slot number at zero. We're going to click on browse. And then we're going to come into our BOS training project folder. By default, it should automatically open the dialog window there. Then we're going to select our BOS underscore training L5K file. And then click open. And then we see the file path appear. And we click OK. And then now we see under tag integration for the source, we have a drop down with the newly added tag integration source of my PLC. What this drop down is, it's a selector for which source you want to either remove or configure. So, for example, if I wanted to add a second one and I want to do Siemens and leave it at dev, if I clicked add, if I put in the IP address, I click OK. Right now it's going out and attempting to communicate. It obviously won't find anything. We can add it anyway. And now you see that we have two. So if I click on dev, I can come back into configure and change the settings for that. If I select my PLC and go into configure, now I can change the settings for that source. So in this case, we don't need dev, so I'm gonna select it and remove. Click yes, and now I only have my one. Unlike GP Pro EX, where in there, when you import an L5K file, you're actually importing it in. Here, we are simply pointing to a source we want to reference a tag list from. 
So once we have that configured, we click OK. And now what we want to do is close Blue Open Studio and then reopen. Because now if we go to COM and we expand drivers, we now see two new drivers show up. The SITIA is there because I added a Siemens tag integration. The ABC IP is here because I added my Control Logix 5000 integration. If I open the main driver sheet, you see that there is nothing listed there. This is because there is a worksheet that's created that's essentially invisible or running in the background for this communication. So for this tag integration, it automatically generates that driver worksheet. You do not have to configure any other settings other than what we had to do in the tag integration configuration, which is the IP address and the slot number. Now, if we wanted to add one of the newly integrated tags to our application, let's say, for example, we wanted our application to act as a bridge between the Allen Bradley and the Modbus device. If I come into the main driver sheet for MOTCP, let's say I wanted to add a new tag here, click on insert tag. And we now see in the object finder under the tags list on the left-hand side, a new item called devices. If I expand this, I see my PLC. If I expand this again, let me drag this out so we can see a little bit more. We now see I have my groups of tags that have been referenced. This is not a list that's populated inside of Blue Open Studio. It's referencing the tag list from that L5K file. If I was connected to an actual PLC over Ethernet, it would simply reference the tag list from there. So in this case, I can browse it like I can any of the project tags. So for example, I want to use this PS1 underscore 17 AM. I select it, click OK. I see it come in here. And now I simply would put in my station. In this case, 192, 168, 1, 100. And I want this to be holding register of 4X. 200. And I want to leave it to a read and write and always. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1 800 289 9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website, profaceamerica.com, for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.